hello guys what's up yesterday i talked about a particular macro photo remember this this one yes now i called it hard work not the luck today i am presenting another photo like that this one two eagle locking their talons in the mid sky they are actually fighting not mating but it is not luck yes you have to be on the right spot with the right gear with the right setting that's right but it not like that you will get a great wildlife camera something like the nikon z9 canon us r3 the sony alpha 9 with a 600 millimeter 800 millimeter lens and you will nail this particular shot you will not you will never can able to do this other than that you should have experienced over three to five years then you can actually capture this kind of photo because when you look at the mirror look at your viewfinder electronical viewfinder whatever you like to say it with the 800 millimeter lens you will find almost nothing you can see the image from your naked eye but when you put that lens on the camera you will surely not see that particular image from your camera it will be hard now you have to get the practice now they said that they means Rajiv Mongia actually showed this particular shot where he live and he actually was on a workshop last weekend with a wildlife photographer Mark Smith that's why I call them he they said that I found it amazing to try to understand the behavior of wildlife to try to catch the special moment that one sees in the photographs of amazing professionals Mongia tales actually I started to practice at the point, quickly learned how much planning, patience, knowing the technical skills, light triangle, etc. and sheer luck is involved in getting the right shot. He actually says the sheer luck, but before that he said that planning, patience, knowing the technical skills and that's why the real thing begins. You have to know them for a couple of years, then you can actually shoot it. He has his Nikon D850 with a Nikon 600mm f4 lens. Now, nowadays, no one will use a Nikon D850 because it is a landscape oriented camera. Something you can say that no one will use a Sony A7R Mark IV for all wildlife and sports photography because that made for the landscape oriented photography but he actually uses it because he knows the camera very well he know everything for that particular camera he says that the scene was crazy at the location there were 20 to 30 eagles 10 to 20 great blue herons some crows and some gulls huge congested crowded place to get this shot he shoot four hours about five thousand images and after coming back in the home when he actually sees the image on the computer screen he realized that he just had the perfect focus on this particular image he just nailed it once in a million photo he can able to capture on this particular day but remember that four hours and five thousand shots it is not something like 10 to 14 shots in 10 minutes you will get and nailed everything else don't ever understand like this remember this you have to practice 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 again practice then you can be the master of that particular thing remember that and that's basically all guys goodbye